Today I will show you how we can use a voice network as well as data network using a Cisco router and switch IP phones and end devices PCs. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> simple voice network okay so you can use the router for us call manager express and your data voice gateway this 2811 router and we need switch for a switch 2960 switch i am using and of course we need end devices for voice ip phones and data this is okay. Let's connect each other. Yes. From the router, I'm using the first port, pass and then a zero by zero to first port of the switch, pass and then a zero by one. Okay. Then the from 2 to switch from IP phone to PC okay 0 by 3 switch from PC this is how you can use the data network or you can create a separate connect the PC to separate up to you you can use this way also so, Let's power on the IP phone because it's not POE. So we need to power on manually, drag and drop the power adapter here. Now the device is booting up. Now <coughs> I'll tell you the data network, which range we need the data network. Um, I'll give the IP range 2.0 plus. 24 data network means phone and the voice network I'll give a 9168 205.0 okay for this both network data and voice this PC server will be our router and I need extension I need to give the extension for IP phone for the first phone I need 410 extension Second phone four one one extension. Okay. Extension or directory number can call anything. Okay. Now let's get start the configuration. First of all, as you know, there is two different network we are using one for voice 192.168.205.0 and for the data 192.168.2.0. Then there should be separate gateway for each network okay so we have only one gateway here the router either you can buy new router and configure one for data network gateway one for voice gateway if you have only one router i'll show you how we can do this suppose we have only one router let's create a sub -in interface for each network okay so we connected let's get we connected the cable from the switch to router is First and then the zero by zero. Let's access the CLA of the router. Okay. The CLA type no enable config key interface as a zero by zero. Normally, what we are doing, we are assigning IP address here. This time, we are not assigning IP address here. We are just giving the command now shut to enable the port port is enabled with no ip address now let's exit from the port and again interface sa0 by 0 with sub interface we are creating sub interface first of all we are creating sub interface for data network that is i'm giving one okay that sub interface is created a link to change it to app here you can assign the ip address for the data network gateway will be 2.1 as we planned before the subnet mask 255 255.0 I think we need to configure 
Encapsulation done with two. Before we assign the IP, use the command encapsulation dot one two with VLAN ID. In this case, it's one. And now you can assign the IP address one nine two one six eight two dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero. No shut. Not required here, but <coughs> already enabled. Again, exit. Now for the voice network, we need. Uh, voice gateway so again interface same interface but different sub interface system lg2 is created same step encapsulation dot one q vlan id this vlan id is two exit no exit we need ip address ip address one nine two one six eight two zero five dot one two five five two five five two five five one zero this ip address will be the voice gateway okay Exit. Now we can see how we assign so IP interface brief. For the main interface, we didn't assign any IP address. We created one faster than it, I mean sub interface. For data network is 201, and for the other, another sub interface with VLAN ID 2 and give the IP for 205.1. Okay. Now let's come to our switch. As you know, we have two separate VLANs, so we have to configure VLAN here. Let's access the switch CLI, enable. As you know, the first port is connected to the router. So let's enter that port should be trunk port. So let's configure that port. Interface, faster than the 0 by 1. This port we connected to the router. Then we have to configure the switch port mode. Trunk. This port should be trunk port. So that port will restart. You can see now on the restarting the port. Now the remaining port interface range we are using zero by two ports only. So faster than zero by one. We already connected to the router. Now from the two to three, only two port we use. Up to your use, you can assign here. This port should be switch port mode access and switch port. Access VLAN 1 by default, it will be in VLAN 1. Before we have to do one more step, create one VLAN VLAN 2. We already assigned the VLAN ID in the router VLAN 2. We created sub interface plus 0 by 0 0.2, right? So we have to use the same ID here for the voice. And you can use the comma name voice network. Exit again, come back to our interface frame faster than at 0 by 2 to 3. Switch port and continue the command. Switch port access voice switch port voice VLAN 2. Okay, so our voice VLAN will be 2 and data VLAN will be 1. Now let's show the VLAN database. So VLAN. Now you can see here we have default VLAN. These all ports are in the VLAN 1 data VLAN. And there is 0 by 2 and 3 port is there. And we created one VLAN 2 for the voice and only two ports as we configured there faster than 0 by 2 and 0 by 3, which we connected to the IP phone. Okay. Now the third step is for the separate data network and voice network we required ip address for the end devices so we have to create dhcp server here so concept ip dhcp and creating first for for data network and then we'll create for voice network ip dhcp excluded address because 192.168.2.1 we already assigned for gateway so i'm excluding from 192.168.2.1 to 2.1 10. So data VLAN will get the IP from 2.11. Now you can create the pool, IP DHCP pool, give a name, I give a data, network, <coughs> default router will be default gateway, will be 2, exit, that's it, we will record as of now, and for that uh, voice network, IP DHCP, Code address 192.168.205.1 we already assigned for the gate voice gateway now 
minus two divided by zero five two two zero ten. Okay. <coughs> now let's create DHCP four four voice IP DHCP four and give name voice voice network. Sorry, network. Okay. Network ID one nine two one six two eight two zero five dot zero mask two five five two five five two five zero zero. Default router will be one nine two one six eight two zero five dot one is a gateway for the voice device. And for the voice, we need one more parameter here. Option one fifty IP address one nine two one six eight two zero five dot one. Okay, exit out. Now let's check the devices got the IP from the appropriate range. For the data network should get IP from data we configure two dot range and for the IP phone should get the range of IP from two zero five. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the PC first, desktop configuration, which is in static mode, put it on DHCP. Requesting IP since this is got two zero eleven. Since it's correct. This one also should get to range IP. Okay, this is also correct. Now let's go to the IP phones. So this got the IP you can see now one nine two one six eight two zero five dot eleven. This is one nine two one six eight not good. Let's wait. Now got two zero five dot twelve. Okay. Now the second step. Now all devices got the IP. Now the second step is we need to create telephony network here. This is four one zero. This is what four eleven. So we need a MAC address. I'm using. I'm not using what. I am not using auto registration here. I will register the IP phone with MAC address. So we need the MAC address. You can see we run two zero zero e zero. Plus nine D four four zero four two. This is the MAC address. Zero zero E zero F nine D four four zero four two. If you make mistake in the MAC address, it won't work. Zero zero six zero five three nine one D one seven. Okay. Let's access the CLI. Enable config tree. Telephony service. Here we can assign max. DN I give five max. E phones I give five. There are some more parameters to be configured here. So I configure here to now the router will show um, alarms or notification here that will be disturbed for the further configuration. So I will come back and proceed complete the remaining configuration here. As of now, I'm exiting configure and configuring the directory number. E phone sorry, e phone DN one. Our first directory number can assign the number here. Number first one four one zero. Uh, here Mac service. No, no. I guess here only the extension. Again, if on DN two. Number four one one. Okay. Now we created two extension numbers. Sorry, mistake. Now come to e phone. One first e phone. Now we can create for I think from max. Here we can define the MAC address for the 410 address we are using this MAC address. Okay, copy this one. Come back for CLI. Can paste it here. And and button. First button. First. Option will be the first directory number. Okay. Exit. Again, come back to e phone. Phone two, second phone, and MAC address. 
this is the MAC address. Come back here. And a button. Just a button to second directory number. Yes, there it is. Now we can complete the remaining step in the telephony service. Access again. And we already assigned your max DN and max P phone. Now what the remaining will be you can say no auto registration okay auto registration phone because you already register manually using MAC address and IP source address will be 192.168.205.1 with port 2000 okay anything else you configure here now the, see now you get the message 205 is registered phone has registered okay p phone one as we and e phone two also registered 205.11 okay now we are done now let's come to our phone classic user interface see this is four double one as we planned here, we registered using MAC address. This is, should be 410. Okay, now we can call, take the receiver, dial the number 411. Okay, so you can see the status ringing out. Minimize this one, come back to your phone too. See, this is ringing. You can see we have got call from 410. Okay, so take the receiver, you can see the status, phones are connected. So it is working now. Okay, disconnected the phone. And for the from the PC, you got the IP in the data network. So this two dot twelve and this is two dot eleven. So we created with separate network. I can ping from one nine two one six eight two dot twelve. Ringing one nine two one six eight two dot thirteen. Sorry, ping 192 or 2.13. 2.13 or 11. What was the IP? Device IP. 2.11, sorry, 2.11. There's no 2.13 in this network. Okay. Okay. So both data and vlan are voice vlan are working fine i hope you oh, i hope you enjoyed this video thank you and bye see you in the next video